we'll start with you guys. What is your, what's your main goal with Cassidy? Um, so Cassidy is a really old rescue bird and she's disabled and has a lot of balance problems. And so our main goal for the class today is she's a big shoulder hog and we wanna be able to figure out how to catch her um, and have her on her fingers and not have her just always climbing up to the shoulder and hanging out there. Um, but we've been having trouble training it because she feels unstable with, she doesn't have claws. First got her, she couldn't fly at all. Yeah. And now she can fly really well, but she's using that to fly to our shoulders and fly around. Um, so that's our main goal. Our second goal is get her to bathe because she needs to bathe. Yeah. Um, did you guys happen to bring a spray bottle? Yes. Okay, awesome. Um, oh, a really cool spray bottle. <laughs> Cool, and all of you guys in your goodie bags, you have little sample sizes of our pellets mm -hmm. and our freeze-dried seasonal feeding. So especially for those of you, which is this class with tiny little birds, <laughs> um, it doesn't necessarily make sense or it might feel overwhelming to make the huge batch of seasonal feeding that we say to make. Um, but our freeze-dried is obviously, you guys got a little sample pack, but that's just something where shelf life's 25 years. You get to just add a little water. You don't have to use your entire freezer storage to make food. <laughs> or buy another freezer like we did. <laughs> experiences. She can bathe in her water dish, her tiny water dish, uh -huh. and she does it maybe once a week. But uh, she's had some bad experiences falling into water because of the, the balance issues, and so now she really doesn't want to take a bath, and she's afraid of the spray bottle. Okay. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even this new spray bottle, we tried an older one, and then we tried this one. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like getting sprayed. Yeah. Okay. Well, she does seem super mellow, so I think maybe introducing the spray bottle and using the seasonal feeding because she at least was like looking in and investigating and starting to eat it yeah. just that we took it away so what are your thoughts well we just might ruin our motivation for shoulder rushing stuff implement it i think we can make progress with the bathing yeah and i think we've we've given some example of what to do to start to avoid the shoulder rushing that you could continue mm -hmm. yeah probably sure. the bathing okay yeah. yeah let's um fill that water bottle all right yeah, so for this free bottle, I've mostly just been working on her not freaking out being near it. Okay. It took us three months to get her target trained because she was really afraid of the stick. Okay. Um, so she's kind of afraid of any new things, and I've been... So now I can put it on the table, and she's okay usually. Yeah? Do you want to take lead on the spray bottle stuff? She also had some minor feather destruction issues slash over preening issues that the rescue also helped her through. Um, but yeah. if she starts preening, sometimes that means she's stressed. Oh, okay. She seems totally chill there. Yeah, she's Are chill. You, You're chill. well for this? Because she seems to like me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that the silver bowl? But also the spray bottle? I'll probably do that later. I mean, she's not given a huge response. So. Can I see the silver bowl? Okay. Sorry, Dave. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, she isn't showing like, severe discomfort. Hey, you Aww, that's that a bathing first. response. You never did that for us, Cassidy. Solved. Yeah. And he'll grow to like three feet long, give or take. So, we're like working with him a lot while he's a baby. Yeah. Get him to people while they're young. Yep. You're doing awesome. So, one of the things that you're experiencing here is that we're just we're starting with whatever is working and then trying to enhance it from nice. there. Nice. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. So part of the reason you're seeing success with this is uh -huh. that when food, water, or shelter are disrupted, yeah. then you can get away with a lot more. <laughs> uh, they'll be seeking the opportunity to get it back. To to earn that back. Mm -hmm. But in the process like she's discovered like, oh, this kind of feels good. <laughs> We've also been trying to train her to make her farting noise on command. Farting noise. Yeah, I gotta show you a video of it. <laughs> I would love to see a video of that. Just observational learning at its best. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Hi. 
seems to actually be enjoying it. So it's kind of yeah, nice. that's great. <laughs> she has a similar like presence about her <laughs> as um, Gideon, like this eclectus I'm working with right now. Mm -hmm. He just looks deep into your soul. He doesn't look yeah. at you, he looks into you. And yeah. She has a similar like, gaze. Yeah. Oh, is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be the next thing Luna and I work on because she doesn't take very many baths. When she <laughs> does, it's usually in her water dish. Yeah. And our vet keeps getting on our ass, uh, but about um, <laughs> because her, her feet are so dry and her beak mm -hmm. can get dry. Yeah. So she's like, use aloe. Get her a spray bath. Yeah. Uh, figure it out because she needs it way more often than she's doing. Yeah, yeah, and it might be something when she's getting her breakfast that um, maybe it's Theo because you're saying that she's more receptive to him. He yeah. holds this and does exactly what Dave's doing, mm -hmm. and you just kind of gauge her. Oh response. my god, that's a lizard on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> he got free. Sorry. Yeah. He got free. No. He fell. I'm so sorry. <laughs> At least it wasn't the rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I missed coming up for that. <laughs> we landed right, like it, we must just miss it because I looked at the weather report like partway in route. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we can't land in lightning, <laughs> but it had cleared good enough. Stuff, good job. Oh my God. Good job. Good job. That's the calmest you've ever been wet, Cassidy. <laughs> she usually looks like a crackhead. So a lot of it is gauging it, and a lot of it, too, is making sure that every time you pick up the spray bottle doesn't necessarily mean a bath. That's, yeah. So a lot I of this is that. me just waving and being, like, really big, and mm -hmm. obviously I don't need to be this big with the water bottle, but I'm just gauging her responsiveness and if she's going to freak out. I wish you could see what's actually happening just out of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> um but just seeing, like, is she worried about it coming near her? Is she worried yeah. about me pointing it at her? And her reward is me just not doing anything, right? So it doesn't mean that every time I lift up the spray bottle or every time I pick That's it up, so I'm going to soak her. It just means that it's, like, a possibly. And then just doing it where you have a ton of reinforcement. She's mm -hmm. in a really comfortable state. <clears throat> she's staring at Dave adoringly. And mm -hmm. she's uh, putting even weight on her feet, too. That's Yeah, we've been trying to do that. Um, when... <laughs> The rescue told us that when we first got her, the only things in her cage was a rope perch, a wooden bell, and her bowl, and she'd spend all of her time on her bowl, not on anything else. Mm -hmm. And so she ended up getting that crook foot from... From um, this. Yeah. Yeah, this looks easier to stand on for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, she's pretty soaked. I don't know how much more I need to really do. Yeah. She's... We keep yeah, getting I don't know the if response. the point is getting... Her just like drenched rat status over. I feel like we've kind of accomplished it. Yeah, this is great. I'm pretty happy though. Yeah, to me it's about the response that we're still getting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, almost too much? Almost too much. You're not going to be able to fly very well. <laughs> oh, there's some nice shaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She yeah, that's the end of it there. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So some things to consider at home is changing the environment that you're trying to give the bath in. Yeah. Um, and then as Jamie said... You need to up the reinforcement and the environment at the same time. Yeah. We did a couple of things wrong when we first got her, and just moving her bedroom to a different bedroom completely started her over for us. It was really great. When we first got her, we would offer the finger, and if she didn't want it, then we'd just give her next purchase because she'd go like this. Yeah. And so she would do this if she wanted next purchase, but then she also learned to do this if she didn't want to step up. <laughs> um, and so we had to change the body language for stepping up. Rest to eat. You could tell the, the positive association with that bowl, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was interesting. Like, the different color bowl was, wasn't was enough. It had to be this one. Yeah. And and when she bathes in her bowl, she can only get this front part yeah. because she has, she can't balance further than that. And she used to bathe in a bigger bowl, but she fell in that and then started associating that with bad things, so. Okay.